Hey guys, welcome back to Krim and RM YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Getting ourselves back into our two minute technicals video looking at XRP. Zooming out here a little bit on the daily, you can see what, what's happening here. <laughs> getting ourselves a nice little push back up after just the, the absolute decimation we saw just on Thursday. But looks good to see that we're holding above our little trend line that we've talked about for a while. Is sitting back here in July, even back here in May just holding it for dear life, right? So we got to push back up to our our kind of resistance here on 52.7. It doesn't show that wick on this chart, but here you can see heavy resistance and heavy support. Heavy support there on 51.7 in between that, the 52.7. So judging by this, if you were to go by how long that this could play out for, if you go here to the daily, looks like on the daily, it could play out here in this little tiny, like, you know, right triangle, as you could call it, but this move would yield itself either like this, like getting a nice push back up there in October, you know, back there on, <laughs> it would show that minimal of it getting there on that 55 to 57 price mark. But you can see that there's a lot of room that I could do that with, you know, if you use the previous high over here, it could be all the way here by the end of November where you see XRP back up here in that 57 zone uh, and then getting a huge wick at that point. Uh, let's see what that would be to around, let's see what that would be, ah, up to that 702, which actually would be up here, uh, around that 65 region, which would make sense, you know, getting yourself that gradual, gradual, uh, ascending kind of pattern. Um, but if we're going to go here and just a daily, see what we can gauge for the rest of the week and the weekend, um, I couldn't say too, too much. If we were to grab this, you could see that that breakout we had was uh, definitely judgeable. I guess you could say that if that's a word, go like this, use the bottom sides, uh, go like this, grab our little trend here. You can see that eh, if we actually able to break through this, we're going to see up there to around 54.3 to 54.7. You can see the short term target was right here. The last time we touched. Oh, to like a T, as you can see, literally there. Um, but we're getting uh, sandwiched right now in between the 200 day, sorry, the 20 day and the 50 day. So we're going to zoom in a little bit further, guys. You can see here on the four hour, can really get, uh, actually, this section in one hour, getting getting sandwiched pretty good. Uh, we're going to go like this. You can see it's going to make a break around Sunday early morning, around like 1 a.m. You're going to get that push back up there to this this zone here is making that stair stepping or we're going to wind up breaking through getting ourselves up here to around that 54 2 to 54 7 3 before another decision comes in already to get that nice rejection off of here and come back down to the bottom side in this line around like that 50 cent region but it looks like you know obviously it wouldn't happen all at once but uh, you would just wind up seeing uh the initial fall Hope coming back here on top of this uh, 51 and if we were to fall through there it'd come down to here um, it's just something to look at going forward if you were to use the most recent Fibonacci on this use as high as this low it has to get through 51 and look at that 53 uh, 39 and then up here to exactly that 54 target so let's see how it goes guys I hope you guys are having a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are remember none of this financial advice remember when in doubt zoom out you know, this might be a time where people are freaking everyone out, but if you just zoom out and look at what's going on, you might have a little more confidence in what's going on. Have a good one, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.